and girls welcome to my review of Audi A2 and this is totally unique car from Audi which is totally made in aluminium and this is those gold times of Yerden and Pierre when it was building Bugatti and stuff like this and was wasting money on risky projects like this and this one actually went out really bad for Audi but uh, we lovers of Audi A2 we are really happy that this car exists because he is so unique and really beautiful if you first time see this car maybe you're gonna think this is multipla but the more you look at it more beautiful it gets and when you begin to see all those lines they made what is more unique about it that uh, drag coefficient of those cars is really small which means they are really aerodynamical and aerodynamic is really important for the car for fuel consumption for uh, how fast it is and your daily economic and he is super light it's uh, most of them is under one ton and those who have panorama and stuff they're a little bit more heavy of course but still they are super light because of their aluminium body and everything is aluminium here not only suspension in the rear in the front this is uh, still made of metal and uh, this is still can rust but otherwise they are not rust and you can uh, really find old one with really high millage but uh, really good in uh, color condition and paint job this one specific one this one you see have done 370,000 km or 360 I don't really remember <laughs> have to check it later and here it is here is my Audi A2 and here is even more unique because I swapped here 1.6 MPI engine and well I begin speak about engine maybe it's good I do continue and tell you which engines was possibly for this Audi and even how you remove the bonnet is unique you take those and out with it and you don't have to be afraid to put it just you do it slowly and careful it's not paint job not touching any floor and the most popular engine here is 1.4 benzene and uh, this engine looks exactly same as this one and uh, it's as I said it's most popular most uh, cars on market you're gonna see with 1.4 benzene then there comes 1.4 diesel engine and this engine by my opinion is the best engine for this car because you get low RPMs on highway he still have really a lot of power he is faster than 1.4 benzene at least it's how it feels and feelings it make a lot and uh, then less popular but some people say is the best engine is 1.2 and it's 3 else models they are <clears throat> little bit different from those Audis they have different we uh, they have different wheels here yeah, and they have only four balls not five they have a, bit, a, big, a bigger wing behind, spoiler and they have some under protection under the car to make it even more aerodynamical and most of people coming even under 3 liter in uh, consumption of diesel but yeah, what can be wrong with 1.4 benzene engines? this is Jäger he, I'm not gonna tell this word, but he is broken all the time then you may sometimes have to clean uh, the throttle body because of AGR and what more, sometimes lambda can be broken and the uh, timing belt is really bad constru construction in my opinion because uh, all those rolls are made in plastic and uh, you, you can never trust it, you can change it, it can jump off one month later it don't used to happen but it still can happen and this make me that I don't love 1.4 benzene and yeah but if you want to buy one it's no problem to buy it's for sure not happening you and uh, this is what as I said 1.6 MPI because uh, I forgot to tell they had 1.6 but FSI engine is this one who have direct in injection in the cylinders and they have many problems and especially now when the whole EU changing 95 to year 10 fuel which uh, 
have much more ethanol and uh, Audi say that those 1.6 FSI doesn't keep this uh, fuel I think it's bullshit they for sure keep you can drive it but they have many other problems those 1.6 FSI and this one is 1.6 MPI from the Golf 4 and uh, if you look at normal 1.4 they're exactly same the difference is that uh, 1.6 have another crankshaft and uh, which allows the pistons go much more really much more yeah you understand the idea and the block made of steel 1.4 is made of aluminium 1.6 is steel so if your 1.4 is broken put the 1.6 because you almost have to do nothing it's just you used to buy a block short block with uh, no stuff on it so you anyway have to remove all stuff from your old engine so it's same good to buy 1.6 and uh, they have wide band lambda which means they exactly see how fuel, fuel mixture is this one running on Golf 4 is you and uh, I also did swap to uh, single coils here yeah. I previously I had uh, one big uh, I forgot the word of it which cables to each spark plug so uh, while I was anyway swapping engine so I, I swapped to more modern engine so this was about engines and 1.4 diesel there is not happening that much he don't have any problem which is kind of standard I, uh, maybe they have one problem which is standard it's that fuel injectors diesel injectors they sitting under the cover and uh, those electronics which come there those wiring they uh, have sometimes glab in uh, those connectors so if your 1.4 diesel begin to go on uh, two cylinders <laughs> then uh, you can check those contacts it's, uh, most of cases gonna be it and it's not that hard to do uh, yes I go think I gonna finish here with engine and put this bonnet here yeah you have to be careful here to don't damage it then you just push it in, close it and here you have, so you can feel the oil here you have your dipstick, or the oil stick, what it calls and here you feel washer fluid and while I'm here I'm gonna tell you about this system this is total madness because they do like this, you see like it doesn't mind because bearing is here wearing out and it's often on those A2 you see the scratches here because wearing out that much so this part here lying on the wind, windshield and this is a big problem for them and uh, sometimes even here it get destroyed and this is a big problem because uh, they don't produce Audi anymore so you have to repair it somehow or you have to buy it use it but in case your Audi begin to do scratches here you can take it and twist it lift it up a little bit it's not gonna of course you can break it but most of cases it do work so it stops scratching on the wind, windshield uh, what to tell more yeah by about design I'm not gonna speak it's it's uh, different for everyone but one more unique stuff I want to tell you about this and I'm gonna come from another sunny side so you see it better it's the floors you see that floor here is high and if you open here I'm gonna remove my jacket floor here is super low you see where it is next to there well I'm here I'm gonna show you you see the chair is standing yeah kind of about where my driver sitting is standing and I'm 176 centimeter long and I sit behind myself kind of you see it's total different uh, t total same here and you see I sit here there's really a lot of place here so four people can really travel for long distance in this one and uh, yeah there's not that much to say about doors but some of models they have electrical ones but most of them get this system and uh, it's not that much about luxury but uh, to save weight you're never using them behind kind of so it's same good they have those so coming to trunk and there is this spoiler I said this also looks super unique here and uh, those three else model have a bigger one it's a little bit bigger but it's, it is bigger so opening here removing this cover this is nice idea I think they had 
you have everything in one and it's uh, always storage in your car it's not in the way but what I think poor is that they didn't do nothing here this is what I did it's just made made, made of uh, metal pieces from uh, windscreen wipers and it's do work so you can do same that's it there we have battery some and here most of them have a lot of facts where everything lying about someone did steal it from my one so I don't have it <laughs> but uh, the strange stuff is they have really big battery and they don't really know why because they don't have that much electronics 1.4 diesel they uh, also have a preheater which go on diesel maybe they should have one but why every one of those have it without electronics this is the mysterious for me yeah there's nothing special and uh, they you also used to have double floor double floor means that here you have one extra floor which you can remove up there and this is also nice because small uh, shit like this can just lie here all around and you can uh, cover it and you always have clean at least look in the trunk then those seats I'm gonna just show you because mostly people I know who own Atu they do they do drive without seats aha now I'm gonna have problem I just gonna show you because it's really good to know because most of people who are driving along with those cars they're removing those seats totally and here you have handle you're just pushing it up and removing it you have to push it down so it's close and just removing it as you see there it's possible to totally remove it you see you just take out your seats and you get much more space and those seats weight torn so you get also much lighter car and here as you see you have possibility to move your seats you can lock it there and you can bring it lock it down all the way and me too also when I drive R2 I remove them because I like never used to drive some more people than my girlfriend so I remove them and with them car feels like total go-kart first thing you notice when you're driving it is that you're sitting really high like in small soft and this is strange feeling <laughs> but at the same time it's impossible to turn R2 around I was trying because when it's small and high you think that it's easy to put it upside down but it's actually not and I was trying it all of this I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what I think about it because everyone thinks different only I can say that Atus have really poor complexion in base there's only speakers in the front the AC unit sitting in the middle of everything you cannot put double in here at now times and stuff like this you don't have a cruise control you don't have onboard computer you have nothing here you have four wheels and the body and this is it what you have in base and it is really poor to concurrence because concurrence had, have everything of it okay in some complications of A2 you also have it but it's super rare and you don't used to see those cars most of the cars you used to see it's 1.4 as I said and they have nothing okay this Audi which make it unique they also had panorama roof which is uh, openable and this is unique for this small car but if you don't have it then you have nothing and uh, th this was make me feel that this car is poor in this uh, in this meaning because you have almost nothing here but okay how is about sound isolation it kind of doesn't exist I'm just gonna be quiet for a second and let you hear it and just to compare I'm gonna open window almost same so sound isolation doesn't exist in the car but at the same time it's it's not that loud so you're thinking about it and now I go without stereo when you have stereo it's still okay even if there's uh, two speakers in the front he sounds good because the whole door from inside is closed so the whole door is like a small subwoofer which makes that even two speakers sounds really good in this car but if, if you get four speakers then sound here is amazing I mean like amazing it's really good what can I tell you more there's not that much more to tell because there's nothing <laughs> this handle here is funny 
<laughs> but uh, sometimes when you decide to drive fast, because this car can go fast, at, at least dangerous fast, <laughs> your uh, passenger can keep there. This is it. This one is strange form, but it's deep, so you can put most of your stuff inside. And uh, here you have mug holders, which is really good, comfortable, but then you don't see stereo when you have them out. Oh, consumption. How much they drink? 1.4 benzene. Drink. It depends how you drive, but if you if you if you don't go too fast, if you just want to keep it as cheap as possible, you're driving. It's, it's possible you come under five and five liter for 100 kilometer. But uh, there you see how much he drink in a direct moment. I'm not slowing. I'm not speeding. I'm going 70 something. And with those wheels, wheels it's good to think that uh, the speed is real. And it's uh, maybe now when I go a little bit less than 80, it does. I'm not even going 80, it's 75. So it really is 75. And you see how much he drink. Yeah. Of course, it depends on the road, also on ages and stuff like this. But still, they're not that cheap. 1.4 benzene. 1.4 diesel, you can easily get under 4.5 four liter diesel for 100 kilometer. And it's, as I said, it all depends how you drive. But if you go only highways, it's good you get yourself diesel. Because uh, diesel cars, they have another gearbox and you have a better gear ratio on the gearbox. You're not going that high RPM. Because on this 1.4 gearbox, when you go 110, you already have 3000 RPM, which is, uh, which is a lot. You're not uh, saving that much fuel and stuff. So, as I said, if you go much highways, it's good you get yourself diesel. But diesel are rare now. Most uh, what you can have, find on the market is 1.4. My one sounds uh, quite a lot, as you see. Because uh, now you can see, I go 110 and I have over 3000 RPM. My sounds alone because I have zero cleaning filter, I call them, and I have a middle muffler deleted. So I have only total uh, middle muffler, <laughs> resonator is deleted. So I have only rear muffler. Now I have drag on. It's there in the middle. It's only one place where I could put it because magnet doesn't work because the whole car is aluminium. So I'm gonna clean it here and I'm gonna show you how fast he go to 100 and uh, maybe it's on, also gonna take uh, times from 80 to 120 which is important when you drive ways and you want to pass another cars. Because this is the reason why I don't like small engines. You cannot pass anyone, you have to go behind. So I use handbrake to launch you have to shift three times until it's come to 100, but I continue. As you see, <laughs> it's not the fastest car ever. Brakes are good. So even with buying point six engine, it's not the fastest car ever. But it uh, feels great to drive 1.6 at least because uh, it's have more power. It's more fun to drive. And just look at this wiper system. <laughs> it's junk. So I guess this is it, I'm gonna finish here. I show you how fast it goes, how it feels, how loud it is. And told you the most of stuff which you may need before you buy one. So, good luck.